We are now going to talk about New World. A new world, that new one, that new MMO that's coming out in August 25th. Like I said, close beta is July 23rd. So we're going to do some talk. Okay. There are three articles that came out. Okay. We're going to talk about those things, right? Crafting items and character progression. But we're also going to talk about some stuff as part of our always, our opinion. Say, okay. I know two of us have had the opportunity to play closed beta. Yes, we can say, sorry, alpha. Yes, we can say we are in alpha. We can't tell anything about it. Okay, so everything we're talking about now is basically coming off of the actual media stuff. Okay, so we're now going to go into our delivery quest. We're going to deliver you some wonderful stuff. Okay, crafting. First up, change the screen here to this so you can guys, everybody can see the crafting article. That's off of New World. So the thing about crafting, I don't know, it's just to me, I'm just going to go briefly, is it's to me, I look at this stuff and thinking, okay, it's great. You know, it's got wonderful stuff. Armor, uh, weapons, I mean, weaponsmith, and uh, uh, armor. I mean, it just, I would say, I would say typical MMO stuff, okay? Yep. And yeah, you can, add, you can, yeah, I can add gem slots and perks. You can really craft them well. And you, if you so choose, if all you wanted to do was be a crafter and not go out and to conquer the world, you can do that. You know, and, and it's a pretty interesting thing. thing. So um, I it, it, uh, can't say it. Anyway, so it's crafting is, is interesting to me. It just didn't, didn't come across to me as being really all that like, oh, my gosh, it's so much better. I mean, it has interesting ways of allowing you to boost the ability of your stuff. But again, playing ESO, there are ways to improve your equipment in ESO. If you have all the right ingredients, you can do it fine. Otherwise, you take like a, hey, you got a 50-50 shot of losing your thing if you want to do it now. So I'm going to start with uh, Solomon. What do you think about the crafting? Since you like to fish all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I did that, that quite same thing related, Kay, because there is the there is the crafting. I mean, the um, uh, not, well, you ga gathering is different, okay. But anyways, what's that? What's your thoughts? <sighs> okay, I'm not. I I am gonna be completely honest with you. The more I learn about the new world, the more I feel like it's just your typical run of the mill MMORPG. I feel like there's really nothing. Like I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm being a little too hard on it because. Usually when I'm looking forward to an MMO, I want something to really be impressed about, right? The reason why I'm looking forward to Star Citizen is because we've never seen an online game on a scale that you see with that. And you, you also have a beautiful world in terms of its graphics, the procedural generated world with all the planets. And it's like, in terms of the things that you could do in the game, it's it's just mind-blowingly insane, right? So that's why I'm looking forward to that. Um, you have other games like um, a Blue Protocol. Again, you don't see a whole lot of um, anime uh, MMORPGs on the market, and so that's why I'm looking forward to that because it's very unique in that endeavor. Right. But when it, when it comes to the, the new world, it's just like, yeah, there's PvP. Yeah, there's crafting. Yeah, there's progression. Yeah, there's uh, different attributions to your character that you could create. But it's just like... I've, I've done all this in other MMOs, right? And so when I read the crafting article, it's like, yeah, okay, that's that's pretty cool. I mean, but it's just nothing. So so this doesn't just pertain to the crafting article. This pertains to all the art, everything that I've that I've uh, read and seen so far in terms of the dev blogs. There's really nothing that ma that's making me say, wow, this this is a feature or this is a gameplay or this is something in in New World that I absolutely want to play right now. Right. If you want to play a hardcore PvP game, like maybe I'll I'll give it that because um, you know MMORPGs like PvP is is uh, for most of them is a pretty big tenant or end game uh, for a lot of MMORPGs out there, and it seems like the new world is trying to make an emphasis with that. But other than that, like I'm not really a hardcore PvP -er anymore. Like I just don't have that kind of time anymore. And so it's like, what else is there? There really isn't any. Like anything that I could do in the new world, I could. I feel like I could do in other MMORPGs. Say Guild Wars Two, Black Desert Online, uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic, um, uh, the the um, uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, and stuff like that. And so 
I'm not gonna lie. I'm still I, like again. I pre-ordered the game just like you guys. I'm you know I'm gonna check out the beta. I can't wait uh, to a, cer- uh, a certain extent, but I'm, <laughs> I'm just I I'm, I'm kind of losing that uh, that excitement about the game. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. No, that's a fair statement. I mean, that's the one thing that they I, the devs talked about like how this is so unique, never been done before, and you're like, uh, excuse me, right? Exactly, uh, exactly. This and this and this like. <laughs> Oh, they're going to have governors and whatnot. Well, yeah, so-and-so game has that. They're going to have faction versus faction. Well, yeah, you know, there's RVR and WVW. You know, there's going to have, uh, I mean, the only real thing so far to me it seems to be unique is that it's a setting. Okay, you're more into a, a Earth-like, you know, world of the days of the with the Conquistador type of armor. Right. And and maybe it's, and that's, maybe it's okay. The whole, whole way they're going to do things is going to be PBP, was in PBE, with the crafting, because I said you can literally be a crafter, craft yourself up the best gear for your faction, and you can be the you know you can be the armor smith to the king, you can be armor smith to the winning faction that like your brand your name was what caused them to win this fight. Zazio, what are your thoughts? Well, <laughs> they're mixed, uh... <laughs> right? I am both optimistic and pessimistic with it. Uh, I do laugh at uh, pretty much, and I've been pretty open about it, even in front of the devs when they've came into Jafar stream. Uh, anytime that they are saying this is something that other MMOs don't do, I have been able to name at least two or three who did it 10 years ago. <laughs> Uh, now, my optimism comes in that it's the way that it's being implemented, and the fact that they are they are cherry picking and trying to take the best uh, systems from different many many different games and put them together to create their own version. That uh, up to a point, I'm pretty thrilled with and i think it'll be a lot of fun however for starters i am not really big on pvp and this game was built from the ground up to be pvp oriented now have they changed that a little bit a little bit now you listen to them right now they're going to tell you they changed it a lot no. <laughs> All that they've really done is add a little bit more for people who are more into PvE to do to attract them as well, people like myself. Um, they they added, you know, that the, you know, NPCs in the world will come and attack you as well as other, um, you know, companies, which is a guild in this game. Uh, it's called a company. And, you know, there's going to be lands changing hands and fortifications changing hands and whatnot. And um, I do like, I, I like what I see and I think it will be fun, but I just don't, I still don't see enough to really pull someone that is into the RPG element of an MMO over to it full time. I I I'm still I've been saying this for like a month now and uh I I still stand behind. I think this is going to be a game that I maybe play two or three days out of the week for a couple of hours each and the rest of my time is going to be in Elder Scrolls Online or Guild Wars 2 or or uh World of Warcraft maybe. I don't know. I'm even starting to lose interest in World of Warcraft, honestly. Wow. Um, since I got into ESO. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, yeah, well, that's a whole nother podcast we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole nother thing that so we'll talk about. So when it comes to crafting, though, is your, your whole... Oh, oh crafting. Now, well, what you're saying in the words, it's, it's like similar. It's like a lot of things that... It is not... too... It's... I'm sorry. It's It's... Is it enough for the progression of that? Um, am I happy with it? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's generic. You go out and you kill stuff to gather materials. You 
uh, pull weeds out of the ground and flowers and you mine uh, nodes, you have mining nodes and things, uh, and you bring your materials back and you turn your raw materials into uh, forged materials or what have you, um, or you go over to the loom or, you know, make cloth and leather and then you take all of that and you mix it with some other things and you create weapons and armor and where have we seen that before pretty much every mmo out there i do it right now on a daily basis on eso eso and i enjoy it and i'll probably enjoy it in new world as well but they're they make it sound again it's they're 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 hyping it up which they it's should. Fine. Yeah, they should. That's fine. You you know you've got to hype your product, man, or people yep. are not going to be interested. And if you're if the devs aren't excited about it, then why should we be? So I get it, but when I'm actually playing in an alpha and actually making weapons and armor, am I feeling completely satisfied? Uh, not really. I just feel like I'm just kind of doing something. Um, it it's not really any different than any other MMO that I've done crafting in, honestly. Um, it doesn't mean that it's bad. It's fine. It's serviceable. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I was going to have any quote um, relaying to crafting, I would say it's serviceable. Yeah. I mean, sim I'm assuming the similar discussions would be about items, too. I mean, the items are mm -hmm. similar, like consumables, you know, the things you can do with that. Uh, potions, tinctures, you know, weapon coating, uh, equipment you can make. Obviously, we know the crafting, uh, the you know, all the different things about that. You can make legendary Correct. weapons and do wonderful things, tricking some bags, you know, crafting resources. You can do a lot of good stuff. It, well, it ties into the crafting. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to add in there real quick um, on what you just said that I am happy that they are trying to balance loot that you can get from the world right opposed to what you can make that they are really trying to create an atmosphere where you can create weapons that are just as good as anything you're going to find out there in the world killing right. those real bosses and whatnot and that is awesome i love that they're going to do that because a lot of games do mess that part up of world of warcraft um <laughs> <laughs> world of warcraft has a really bad habit of at the beginning of an expansion, they give you all these recipes for items you can make that are better than anything you can find out in the world. And then within a, a three month period, it's useless. You can't even sell it on the auction house. All you can do is vendor it. And it's like, well, why, why do we even have crafting if it's, just for leveling purposes and once you get up max level then it's worthless yeah um so that's true i you admire that they're item. gonna do that yeah, you can yeah. Make by the way uh jeff Fleur just said hi daddy jazil oh wow. <laughs> what <laughs> that's my daughter yeah, oh! it's, it's not jazoom so. hmm. oh okay <laughs> Fleur means flower in flower, right. scottish gaelic Ah, oh, got it. It's got a little it. bit to French too. I mean, yeah, um, yeah. So that's yeah, it's a good point about items. And the biggest thing is like your craft. That's why I say craft. If you're a crafter, you'll love New World because it does allow to crafters to be crafters, and you don't have to go out and fight. You don't have to be part of the the faction on faction warfare. You can just literally craft stuff and be the greatest crafter in New World. You can make unique items. You can make the legendary items. The things that basically people want. And they're not the same as the in-world stuff. The in-world stuff will drop with certain things, with some maybe either socket filled or not filled, and you can make unique things. So it's kind of cool. I mean, you have to have to play it out to see how it works out in reality, especially with beta coming up. So, I mean, um, I know that for me, playing alpha, I did not get very high on different levels. You know, I just try a mixture of things. So we'll mm -hmm. see how it goes. I mean, do you have anything to say about items, uh, Solomon? uh in the new world yeah um i didn't i didn't i don't know too much about the item aspect of the game other than the fact that they have a progression system where the more the more you use a particular weapon 
uh, the more yes. uh, proficiency you gain in that's it. True. Other than, I mean, that's that's pretty cool. I, I'll, I'll give them that because uh, I, I can't really name any other game that does that, or, or at least not any MMO RPGs for sure. But MMOs, I I don't I know. Can't. Well, like World which one? Warcraft used to. Oh, did they really? Yeah, you used to be that you would start out at level zero, uh-huh. and you would have to level up your staff, your fists. Really? Your okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I don't remember yeah. that. Like again, I haven't played since uh, Wrath of the Lich King, so I completely I remember, forgot about that. Camelot had a one point system where you level up your weapon too. Oh, that's yeah, and <laughs> EverQuest, called. and I think even uh, Anarchy Online had that system, and. Of course, well, so we're, that, we're talking old games yeah, now. <laughs> you're not leveling up. I mean, ESO doesn't level up weapons. But you do level up your skills by using the weapon. That's kind of interesting. But that's the same thing with New World. Mm-hmm. All right. We are done with the... So that's the crafting and the items, okay? Now we're going to... Before we get into character progression and whatnot, I thought I'd throw it out there as part of our storyline quest. So I call, I call it lore. What lore? That's about any game. So, you know... From all I've seen in all the dev blogs, okay, is there a story in New World? <laughs> That's actually a good question. <laughs> Who do you want to ask that first? Because I'm going to go off. <laughs> no, go, go, Sir Jaziel, well, go for it. You're going to go off. It's like, go, I mean, go for it. Things I, obviously, um, anything uh. that. anything you see <laughs> in an alpha and beta should not be considered to be what you consider to be the final. Okay, so it's always in work. But I'm just sure. talking about all of the stuff. They talked about craft, character progression, and mm-hmm. items, and arenas, and fighting the war, and fighting the invasions, and all the different things. I'm like, yeah, so where where exactly is the story? I mean, I, mean, I don't know what the story is. I mean, we see the trailer, you're like, Oh, you land on this island. Okay, it's been corrupted by something. Right. right. Okay. Then what? And and you can't die apparently because of the corruption or whatever. Well, no, you can die. You just come back. Right. Right. That's what I mean. That's that's how they um uh explain uh not right. being able to have a perm- perma death. Oh, you're you, yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Well, let's go, with Solomon. First, then. What do you think, yeah. Solomon? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's one of the reasons why I I I'm not. As ex- as excited about this game as I was before because I know nothing about the lore, you know. At least with Star Citizen, again, the the, the MMO RPGs I named before, Star Citizen again, or um, a Blue Protocol and things like that, like they they seem to give you an explanation of the lore, the world, what 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 are the happenings, why you're there, why you're you know. But with with the new world, I mean, you got that um release trailer with uh with the red gem on the statue and some guy in a ro- in a roman uh armor touches it and his eyes turns red and then at the end of that trailer you see some woman that looks like really pale with real uh, red eyes and everybody thought that was oh that's so metal but other than that like it doesn't tell me anything you know like who, like who is he what's her name like like who are the people involved oh see there you go but even okay but then even still like what does she do what's the point of her like like tell me something like 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 um um it, it, actually no, i was gonna i was gonna mention the last of us too but that's no, neither here nor there but like tell me uh, something <laughs> yeah i know i know that's another podcast. It, it is it is <laughs> well you know the reason why i was gonna mention that or not even not even necessarily that game but like if if anything besides battle royales, or actually even even with battle royales like Fortnite, there's every time they release a battle there's pass, story, yeah. there's story yeah there's story within yeah. the battle pass, especially with the whole spy versus spy thing that they're doing right now. Or I don't know if it's that's mm-hmm. over with. There's there's something to hook you in. There's there's some emotional uh what, what's the word am I looking for emotional um uh vulnerability emotional like hook if you will to to everything and and <laughs> the new world doesn't overwatch. have that you know yeah overwatch is especially good with really that good. with their with their uh cinematics uh for each character and stuff like that right and it's just oh, like yeah. and and it makes the battle royale that much better because you you're you're playing a character that you know that has something that makes you want to invest in it and with the new world uh you know that's there's there's, there's nobody that I care about in the new world. There's literally nobody. So if you go to the new world website, it talks about Car of Yard Destiny. 
Fate has summoned you to the shores of <laughs> Eternal, the Eternal Isle. Overcome the brutal legions of the corrupted and draw battle lines with competing players in this land of danger and opportunity, in a land hellbent on your destruction. What will you do to survive? Strike out alone to forge your own heroic path or band together to fortify and fight. Like, all right. Under the surface, there's a breathtaking landscape laid the seeds of an ancient evil that plots to erase all traces of humanity from its shores. Wars of bygone ages, doomed adventurers, and creatures of legend have all succumbed to its corruption. It must be stopped. I'm like, okay. That's all I think I've seen or read about the the story. And I'm <laughs> that doesn't tell you that. anything. I'm wondering, <laughs> will I get in the game, and will it be just, oh, yeah. <laughs> just, wait, 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 you could just be like, you're here, and you're forging your own destiny. You're writing your own story. Okay? You're working with your friends and your family and you have or new friends and you have you're part of the company and you're part of this faction and you're building the settlement. And maybe there is nothing. I don't know. But I'm just like, hmm, where's where's the story? So now that we've uh keyed it up for Sir Jazio, let's see him hit it out out of the park. Okay, so uh, you know, I'm laughing uh, uh, under my breath at the beginning of this segment as well. <laughs> I'm sorry, boys, but there is none. Um, there, There is. But you have to look for it. Uh, there's pages that are all over the island oh, boy. that if you read them, if you take the time to read them, while things are spawning around you and trying to kill you and people are trying to PvP you, you can get a yeah. sense of the people, what the people before you had experienced. You mean like the tapes you get in Fallout 76? Exactly. Without NPCs? And that's funny because I was just going to use that. <laughs> <as a point. laughs> Sorry. You... As you said, I'm like, wait a minute, that um, reminds me of Fallout 76. It absolutely is like about that. the tapes. It is absolutely like the tapes, except for you don't get to listen. You have to read and while you're getting attacked by stuff. but Or maybe you've killed it recently enough that you won't. But um, I, I read everything that I came across, and although they're interesting, um, it's just not enough. It's not enough. Uh, you know, I'm a story, lore-driven player. I enjoy MMOs for the RPG portion of it, as well as the MMO. And there just isn't enough to call it an RPG. Uh, there's not enough... They they put work into it, but there's, like, really the... the they have quests that you can pick up on a daily basis. Um, there's PvP quests. I think there's three uh, that they've careful told how much you can say. Yeah, I, I'm trying <laughs> to actually remember if they said that. I'm pretty sure they did on the vlog. But you know what? I'll stop there because now I'm questioning whether I did hear them say it or not. Anyway, there, there's just not. If you're expecting. Black Desert Online, ESO, all the games that we've been mentioning here tonight in every episode that we're on, uh, Guild Wars 2, Real of Warcraft, Final Fantasy 14. that's not what you're going to get. Right. Um, and it absolutely, I'm going to reiterate what Kenton said because he is right, and that is exactly how I felt ever since I got my alpha invite, and they're probably going to take it away from me right now. I hope not, but I, I can edit this part out. Month left anyway. We've only got a month left before beta anyway, so they'll invite me back because I pre-ordered the game, right? Um, right. And I got the still book, so and I I will still <laughs> play the game. I'm still going to play yep. the game, guys. Don't yep. take my alpha away. Um, I just I felt like I was dumped off on the beach, and yeah, there's some introduction questing there that kind of introduces you to the very basics definitely not the advanced stuff and then they kind of just say this is your playground have fun 
Bye. And you're just, and for someone that is looking for that rich, deep character progression and um, storytelling, you're gonna get bored. I'm. <laughs> yeah. I hate to say that I do. <laughs> you see the pain on my face, guys. I hate to say that because I am optimistic about the game for what right. it is, but it is not an RPG. Well, that's why it, I said the I PvP that... and and grouping us three guys grouping up with our company with Jafar and DD and all all them other guys DP sorry all those other guys that are you know shadeless will play for with us for about a week. Um, <laughs> sorry, Shade, listen, listen. Um, all those other guys and gals that are going to be playing with us, I, I look forward to that. I look forward to building up our, our uh, you know, infrastructure, our fort, and and our city, and working together to defend it. Um, but as far as anything else, I'm gonna be with these guys playing ESO and stuff if I want a story because there's just there's story there. I mean, when you watch that, mm -hmm. that I still go back and watch that little trailer. It's a cool trailer, mm -hmm. man. Yep. And it, it does make you awe and wonder, like, what's going on? I want to, I want to know what's going on. But they don't yeah. really tell you. And maybe they're waiting for, you know, after release, maybe Kenneth's right, and they're holding on to stuff that when release comes out, we're going to be blown away. Like, whoa, wait a minute, this is a yeah. completely or closed beta. This is a new new world. I, I hope <laughs> so, I'm man. For closed beta. Uh, you know, he he could be right. Kenneth may be right, and man, I I pray to God that he's right because <laughs> I need more, man. I I'll do PvP. I'll be a good sport with these guys if they want to go you know kill yeah, some me too. people uh, i'll be a good sport i'll do it but uh i want to play through a story dude right and they're just other yeah. than collecting those pages and reading um stuff from that other people who were on the island before us writ wrote i just there's not anything there for for that all right well Kind of answer my question about whether or not if there wasn't, would you still play it? You guys, the answer was, at this point, we're going to still play it because we'll see. Yeah. But even if it isn't, I mean, if there isn't, I'm willing to try it. So yeah. I think it has, yeah. it might be a different experience overall that will blow me away. I mean, I like the idea of, I've always liked the idea of RVR playing Dr. Mm. J. Camelot. I've always liked the, the idea of doing the uh, Cyrodiil in ESO, you know, and that's been fun. So I don't mm -hmm. mind that. So it it might just be that's the way it will be, and that's that's and that might be okay with me, you know. So we'll see. That's why any game really boils down to is how do you put it together. Now, mind you, I've also been conditioned by my 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 son who loves lore, he loves story, that's why he loves Final Fantasy XIV, the other right. game. So sure. whenever he talks about it, whenever he talks about a game, he is is the uh, the combat is one thing, the the graphics and everything, but man, the lore, mm -hmm. the story. Is what for him is very important. Otherwise, he'll be, you know, and Final Fantasy is probably one of the best at telling a story. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're definitely right, one so... of the more popular MMORPGs on the market right now, for sure. Yep. Wow. Well, and they do it well. I mean, I think that they they've done a very good job of way they communicate with their uh, community, with the media, and when they when they launch out an expansion, their very first time was a bad mistake. They screwed up big time. That's why it's called a world reborn. Yeah. Right, right. When they first launched it, they really did not listen to the, <laughs> the audience, the community, and screwed it big time. But they did. They actually then turned around. So that's good. Almost forgot well, about ESO, that. ESO started out ESO bad. Had good. to do yep. Tamriel Unlimited. So yep, yeah. They've also been learning. All right. So um, I know that you and I have been playing Alpha um, and a closed mm -hmm. beta. Obviously, all three of us have been closed beta. Yep. Definitely released. So the one thing that is coming up, uh, apparently the NDA will be off for closed beta. We are allowed to stream. There are going to be some, I think, some stream um, teams of some sort that uh, General Javar has heard about. And I think there are also some, uh, I think there might be a, a on their website somewhere about how you do that, sign up for it, but you can do that. Um, the last thing we want to talk about to uh, uh, is basically what's called character progression, because it's going to be part of the, not quite the story, but it does a play into 
share with all the wonderful audience out there. You know, um, there are credit progressions with regards to basic core attributes, which, by the way, looks an awful lot like all the other stuff too, okay? Maybe you'll think about renaming how you do it. That's fine. You know, strength, dexterity, intelligence, focus, constitution. Trade skills, we mentioned about crafting. Well, trade skills too, when it comes to gathering or crafting, whatever it is, right? Yep. You can bounce it up too. Gathering skills, refining skills, crafting skills. Uh, weapon, ma weapon mastery, like you mentioned before, that as you use a weapon, you weapons uh, will get you more benefits. Oh, so J J Jeff Fleur says, got to go. Be back by Daddy Jaziel and his friends. And his friends. Bye. <laughs> um, use we weapon in combat. You gain XP for the weapons and mastery. So yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. Similar to, I think, I think ESO does. There's it comes like mastery of stuff. Um, and again, this is all wonderful stuff and it's really cool and like the crafting, I like the items. Didn't come to me as being extra special, just a nice okay, that's their take on it. <clears throat> what do you guys thought? All right. <laughs> that's that. exactly I, I I mean I share that opinion. I think Solomon probably does too. That it's yeah. It's just, oh gosh, uh, this is going to be my quote for the night, guys. It's serviceable. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's it's good. It's good. I, I think there's enough there to keep you entertained for a while. As far as character, you know, we're talking character progression right now, I assume, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, it, as far as that goes, it's, yeah, it's serviceable. It's, it's nothing special. It is their own spin, but eh, it just is. Um, I, as far as alpha goes, you know, I, I felt like, um, leveling, uh, was a tad slow. I think just a little bit though. And uh, I, I'm okay with, with the attributes and, and traits and whatnot that are in the game. I, I think it's okay. Yeah. Um, there, there are things, uh, are we going to be talking about weapons later or? It could yeah, no. Um, I, they're the, the only thing with weapons, uh, because ultimately at the end, I think you end up with being able to swap between three different weapons. Right. Which I love that, but of course, again, too. we've seen this before. Uh, you're able to swap weapon bars on ESO. Um, <laughs> that's not new. Um, it's just that you got a third one, but you have a lot less. It's a lot simpler than Elder Scrolls Online. There's a lot more perks and things you can get in ESO than uh, than you can in New World, but. I think it, you kind of, I kind of like it being simpler um, because it's easier for people to pick up and understand. Uh, and there's still enough room there to do theory crafting, which is another thing that I love doing is going in there and going, okay, well, if I, you know, tweak this for this, it, can I eke out a little more DPS? Can I irk out a little more? Mitigate uh, damage mitigation, right. or you know, and and just playing around with it and seeing um, what you can do with that. And I think there is, uh, you know, some thought put into that. And there are definitely going to be balancing issues that I can see moving forward. Uh, but again, you got to give it to them. That's MMOs, dude. Uh, yep. That's not going to be something new for them. Uh, they're going to be balancing for the life of the game. <laughs> right, they will be. Uh, but, uh, you know, the only thing that we really haven't seen that much yet that um, I'm really was hoping would be in Alpha uh, was, you know, magic. Um, there just isn't a whole lot of that going on yet, but. Um, Keyword being yet, though, right? Because they did talk yeah, about magic. I believe they did talk. They've talked about it publicly, so I'm not giving right. away any secrets. <laughs> <clears throat> that supposedly there's going to be a lot more of that uh, moving forward, but uh, we haven't really seen it to the extent that they're talking about it being implemented. So 
I, I look forward to that because, uh, as you guys know, I'm I'm a huge mage slash wizard slash necromancer warlock kind of magic casting intelligence based kind of player. Um, and that's what I was hoping for when I saw the staves. I was like, oh, there we go. I'm in. Oh, that's <laughs> me. <laughs> but then I used the staves and I was like, oh, they just shoot fireballs. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. OK. Like, can I do magic? Can I like cast mm. stuff? And can I like bubble people and heal people? And... <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Such a dis- I, it, again, it was one of those really excited and then eh. okay. you saw anything you want to add to that no not really <laughs> the the dead silence from me and uh serge Alzia when you asked that question pretty much summed it up <laughs> yeah i uh, mean yeah like well malou's in chat was like and this is why i'm going to wait a month before i buy it i've heard the same thing from colt i've heard some, a lot of people say the same thing i'm gonna wait now we're not gonna wait we'll play it but there are those that are going to, I want to wait for, find out whether or not it is or isn't good. Cause I've been draw a lot of us been burned by the hype, been burned by games that are like, yes, it's going to be the greatest game in the world, you know? True. And uh, it turns out not but to be. So here's my, uh, we need to answer that right now. Um, here's my fear with that attitude, though, is all those people are going to wait. And we're going to get in the game and it's just going to be like four or five of us. <laughs> and that's not going to be enough to make a company. And by the time that those other guys, Colt and all them guys come in, we're already going to be like, Meh, and we're going to be gone. It's going to be 76. all over. Oh, I, yeah, that's actually a good and point. That is well, yeah. no. I was going to say that's what happened with Classic, but not really. That was a kind of different. <laughs> no, that's a fair there was statement. A... Those who it, wait. It... It's like saying, I want to wait to see if season two of a TV show is good before I watch season one. And then you know, all of a sudden it's, out, it's gone. You're like, well, what happened to season two? Well, no one was watching season one. <laughs> so why would they do that? Or right. it's like, and... uh, I'll pass on this one, but I'll wait for the next one. Like, What happened to the next one? Well, you all pass on the first one, so you know, and here's the other is is the water cooler conversations that you have about yeah. last night's episode. You know, it, right. it, I had several friends that did that with uh, The Walking Dead. OK, um, you know, love it or hate it. I know several people don't watch it anymore, but, <laughs> um, you know, it used to be everyone would watch it when it was on AMC. And the next, uh, you know, it would come on Sunday night and Monday morning at work. We'd all be sitting around, like I said, the water cooler talking about you know what carol did or daryl or whoever you know rick grimes or whatever (laughs) happened in that episode and then it got to where people were like you know i get tired of like i'm so used to netflix and hulu and disney plus and i just want to like wait till the season's done and then watch it just binge it yeah binge watch the whole Mm. season well then there's like two of us standing at the water cooler wanting to talk about it we can't because spoiler spoiler talk i didn't hear you you're all the way across the room your door's closed how do you hear me you're trying to listen <laughs> right did you watch game of thrones so, this weekend i'm gonna watch it on next week oh that one got really bad but, but yeah. no one needs nobody needed to watch season eight anyway because it sucked but <laughs> um anyway sorry it did <laughs> Uh, they thought they were going to go make a Star Wars movie, and then they got fired. Anyway. Um, oh, is that the case? Is that what really happened? True, true story. Dang, I didn't hear about that. I didn't. Yeah, uh... those brothers. They they were supposed to go make a Star Wars. I know the next they were. Star Wars tri- 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 trilogy. Yeah. Trilogy. yeah. I almost said well, I thought they just. I thought they said. Well, the official word was a conflict of timing. What they had no, plans for the show got... and. They got fire. Oh, uh, several sources. That's so no that. wonder I haven't heard about that. But anyways, and then they were like, and then everyone was like, so you messed up Game of Thrones season eight so that you could hurry up and be done with it to get to the Star Wars trilogy that you now are not doing. <laughs> Thanks. All right, <laughs> but that's anyway. Yeah, that's so... off. No, that's but, a fair statement. I mean, for those people, that's a fair statement. You know, unfortunately, 
that's a risk that people yeah. take, you know, on both sides of the game. I mean, I, unfortunately, we have been burned by <clears throat> games that have been hyped and not been very good. That's um, true. But, but there true. are games that have been hyped, haven't been very good, and the devs fixed them. I mean, I still haven't bought um, uh, what's that planet one? No Man's Sky? Yeah, No Man's Sky. Tell them about it. You know, right now it's half oh. off on theme sale. And it's been fixed. It's got a VR version too. I hear it's a great game, but I was going to get it when it first came out, but then it bombed. I'm like, uh. But then they, I did a Fallout 76. I liked it. I, I was playing Fallout 76 and people stopped playing it. I played Star Wars at Old Republic and then people stopped playing it. Wait, now, you started Star playing? When did you play Star, uh, Sword Art? When it first came out. Oh, came oh, out. okay, okay, okay. That came out. That, yeah, that, that's I before I met you. Ago. Yeah, yeah, okay. Never mind. Well, no, no. I'm saying when I first came out, we had a plan to make a deal. I think our, our WoW guild over there, and half the people <laughs> went, which is fine. Someone else said, hey, can I be guild leader now? I said, fine, you can be guild leader. And, and so we started playing it, but then it people burned out really fast. I'm like, now I'm still playing it. And where would I go? I enjoyed overall. I had me, I'm more of a patient gamer. And mm. it's like, yeah. <laughs> the only one that I that hasn't completely collapsed has been ESO for me. Uh, that our morning song is still going strong. I can't believe how many people log into the game on a daily basis. But yeah, ev ev oh. every other. Well, that's true. That's true. That's fair. Uh, but every other MMO that, and not just MMOs. I mean, it happened. We had that a bunch of people that were going to start an eSport team for just about every FPS out there <laughs> and Battle Royale. And like those of all like all those groups of people have separated and don't play together anymore. You know, Overwatch and Rainbow Six and Fortnite. And it, it's crazy, man. And yeah. it's like right now everybody's on Valorant. But, you know, in a couple of months, they'll all be yeah. off on their own again and well there will be i think the Valorant, there will definitely be a because riot owns it there will be a uh e mm. you're right the people we generally hang out with that's that's <laughs> that's the squirrel thing it's like hmm i have the same problem sometimes i need to stick with one I game just, and it. I, it, the, the problem with new world is going to be that it is a game that you need to have a company and we yeah. need to be working together we need yeah. to have and Elon we need Elon. to have people of all sorts. We need to have people that are interested in doing right. the professions. And we're going to need people that are doing the PvP and people that are doing the PvE that are keeping the NPCs away from us uh, and yep. under control at the same time. We're and So we're going to need a big group of people. And if too many of people in our community are saying, I'm going to wait a month to see... By like I said, by that point we're just gonna be done with it mm. because we're not gonna be able to accomplish that without joining an already established guild or something. And you know, then comes the we we have especially in our community with being family friendly, that's kind of a niche thing. And it's really difficult, which is why we always create our own groups because it's really difficult to find one. Um, most of point, I mean, Final Fantasy 14, I generally enjoyed it. It wasn't, I enjoy ESO more. But biggest mm. issue at times is my free company was way ahead of me. They had more mm. time to play. They were, mm. you know, they, they were doing more stuff. And I could never group with them because I was always too below them. And that's what kind of, you know, I was one, of, besides <laughs> the fact that me. the game itself wasn't exactly, you know, all my total cup of tea with the music and the graphics and just overall me don't kiss me don't get it wrong i know people love final fantasy 14 but and that's where it's like my kids camp new new world if you don't have a group together you're like well, okay well i mean um another example is destiny 2 when it first came out loved it great played it but then if you don't have a guild to do a buy it then you gotta wait around and then you wait for somebody else to get you know to get up to your level and then you move on because now you're waiting for the next patch or next dlc and I've still not finished Leviathan. <laughs> the game's Dude. been out for three years now, okay, because of that reason. Right. I mean, I've been well, in several different uh, Destiny 2 guilds. And right now, Destiny 2 guild for GMA looks kind of quiet because it's it's they're waiting. They're waiting for their next next thing. Mm. People have done Shadow, Shadow, Fort, no, Shadow. Bringers. 
Now, this is a. Uh, oh, I was naming the. Uh... <laughs> Should oh, I bring yeah. his Final I Fantasy? Think... Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I went back to anyway, that. But that's, that's the first statement. I mean, I, I understand. <laughs> I understand the point of view of people who want to wait. Why spend the money if the game's going to crash and fully get dead? Which is a very good point. If people who don't buy it don't help make the game good. And it would it, it, invariably it will crash and burn. You also like self fulfilling prophecy a little bit. So if people get yeah. together like one, you know, if they can afford it, don't get me wrong, and jump in together and play the game together, they can see what how the game can go. It could have some longevity to it, have some legs. Well, you you know, you hit on something there that kind of spurred a thought in my head. That the reason why we like ESO is that it doesn't restrict you like a level one can group up with the level 50 and, and champion points 800 um and you can go run the world and do everything it's the same way in guild wars too that uh from the start you can play with your friends and in both of those games guild wars 2 and elder scrolls online you have the ability that if your friends aren't on, if Kenneth is not on and, and Gene isn't on and all them other people that I play with aren't on, it's soloable. I can go and solo the right. world just right. fine. I can quest. I can go yep. do delves. I, there are certain things that I have a rougher time, like public dungeons and, um, you know, the uh, world bosses and whatnot are a little bit tougher to do. In fact, some of them are impossible to do solo, but... Um, I've got so much that I can do solo if my friends aren't on and able to go do the harder stuff. But when they're on, we can go do the harder stuff, and it's more yeah. rewarding, and it's a lot of fun playing with your friends. Uh, games like Final Fantasy uh, and New World are not like that. Like, New World, I have done a lot solo, I, I but it's mainly because... I have focused on my professions. I basically just go out and I collect materials to make weapons and armor. And that's all I'm doing in Alpha. I, I don't really, I mean, I explore a little bit. I go out and run around and see what I can find. But like, uh, there's a lot of the areas that I, if I try to take tackle as mobs, I'm dead. There's just no way. Um, and obviously, you cannot build a company solo. <laughs> right. You need a big group of guys and gals grouped with you. Uh, to defend that, you're going to need a big group of friends with you uh, to defend it against NPCs and player characters alike. You're going to need to be in a guild. You have to. There is no way... That you can do it. So the only thing to do solo in that game is crafting. And so like I was getting at earlier, that that's just not going to be enough to have me logging on for four to six hours a day, five days a week. Um, like I can in ESO or Guild Wars 2 or even World of Warcraft. Well, you know, World of Warcraft, you can, there's tons of stuff to do solo as well i don't think as much as guild wars 2 and eso but i think that's why uh you know guys like kenneth and i and solomon enjoy those games uh so much is that you know e even black desert in line has some stuff you can do on your own obviously uh solomon does it every stream pretty much um, <laughs> that's true <laughs> without even being at I know what <laughs> Uh, and, and that's, again, that's my fear with this, man, and I want it to succeed, and man, I cannot, I cannot say this enough, that Amazon Game Studios team, they are some cool dudes and dudettes. I, I know that's a totally early 90s term, I'm sorry, <laughs> girls, but I, I, that's the era I came from, sorry, you're dudettes. <laughs> How dare you? Um, I'm from Santa Barbara, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, <laughs> surfer culture, remember? Yeah. Uh, that's where I got this beautiful tan. Oh, <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> well, Malou says, if I but, cannot solo the game, I'm not getting it. So that's a fair statement. Yeah, the only thing I'm, unless Ken's right, and like I said, I pray he is. 
I know it's not important to God that it is, but I'll pray anyway that Kenneton's right and that there is a lot of stuff that they just have not shown us yet. And very likely there is a lot that they haven't shown us yet. Uh, but as far as soloing, uh, you're going to be a crafter. That That's about all you can do other than exploring. You can go explore the world. And there are those pages to find if you're into collecting and wanting to learn the lore, because that's about the only place you're going to get it other than their website. Um, but it's not, don't expect it to be BDO, ESO, or, or GW2, because that's not what you're, I think I started this broadcast by saying that that's not what you're going to get. Now, if you're wanting to group up with a lot of friends and you know, play tower defense, basically, <laughs> then <laughs> then this is for you. If you're into PvP or PvE or both, uh, this is, a, I think, is going to be a lot of fun. But if you're really into lore and storytelling, you probably ought to play something on the side. Because you're. I don't, I just don't see that you're going to be fulfilled as a gamer um, only strictly plain New World. Yeah, I don't know. You guys think that's fair? Or... Huh? No, that's fair. a fair statement. Well, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. pretty much the sentiment that I had earlier. So that's a good way to end it. Thank you. Oh, all right. We are going to be doing some closed beta stuff coming up on July 23rd. Uh, more to come on that. But don't forget also, we plan on having a pre launch party on May, August 25th. We'll see how it goes now that people are playing beta. How do you how do you pre-launch a game that's in beta? Well, we'll figure it out. Okay. So, anyways, definitely plan on doing that. So thank you so much for being here. Uh now we're gonna go back to go AFK. I'm gonna have to go dinner before I go stream and place ESO. So in the meantime, where can we find you, Solomon? Here. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> That's good. That works fine. No, find me in YouTube, Coffee and RPGs. Uh, that's my primarily primary focus in terms of content creation. Uh, obviously, you can find me here on Twitch too at uh, Solomon underscore SK. But uh, YouTube is where it's at for me. Uh, in terms of gaming, I mean, I'm obviously playing Black Desert Online still. Although I actually have been playing a lot of Fallout Four because I've actually never oh, been nice. through Far Harbor. I've been through. Really? Yeah, that's the only content I haven't been through. Um, and unfortunately, my game started crashing. I don't know why, because uh, I haven't... I didn't install any new mods. And and I, I only... I know, this is weird. I only have about 85 or 86 mods. And I know that's a lot, and I say only, but I'm usually... I could usually go up to, like, 200. Easy. Right? But it's like, the game was stable. I don't know what's happening. I, I'm using uh, X-Edit to clean out some of the mods. I'm using Loot, the load uh, mod mod loading manager. And I'm using, you know, I'm doing everything I can to make it more stable. But I have no idea what's going on. So I, yeah. I, I probably won't be able to finish it because uh, there's a certain sections of the game where you actually have to go in order to progress the story. And the game just does not, just keeps, you know... It, it just keeps freezing and I'm just like pulling out my hair. Uh, but either way, uh, I, I did release a video on YouTube where I did a, uh, that. yeah, uh, of, uh, I did a show or a tour of my, uh, s uh, settlement in sanctuary. And, uh, you know, I mean, either way, even if I can't finish it, I'm still glad that I'm able to produce, um, uh, content out of it and get something out of it other than, you know, um, uh, just your typical uh, MMO and RPG news roundup that I do. So, uh, yeah, that's. I mean, I've been playing that. Um, I've been playing um, the mobile game called. There's a mobile anime RPG called uh, Epic Seven, and again, I, I still a huge cynic when it comes to mobile platforms. But uh, Epic Seven is actually a really full uh, fun game when it comes to uh, anime RPGs. Um, really, it's a turn-based strategy game, so don't expect too much. But they do they do a really good job in terms of like the animations and the story and the things that you could do. Not really a pay-to-win game. There are some you know pay-to-win uh items, but I I actually this is one of the first this is the first mobile title where I actually spent money on it because I wanted to because I really liked the game and I can't really talk, I I can't really even say that about even most PC games and so. Yeah, those are the games that I'm playing. That's where you can find me. All right, cool. Uh, Fallout 4 video I saw. Maybe you want to play my game again. Yeah, I saw your comments, yeah. 
I said some early, I, when I started streaming about seven years ago, at one point I was doing Fallout 4 videos. I would, I would get outside of a particular run, you know, all right, go and do this quest or run into the quest. And mm. I would then, then download to YouTube. <laughs> so it also like, that's the one thing about the game versus Fallout 76 is that you have a lot more room to build. Right, and that's the thing about Fallout seventy six. Yeah, I can build Fallout seventy six, but it's such a small footprint. Oh, really quick. Uh, they're they're actually so you know I don't know if you know this, but they actually made a mod where they made Sekiro, uh, the the samurai game from from software. They did they did uh Dark Souls and stuff like that. They actually made a mod for that game that makes it multiplayer, so you can play with other players and stuff. And I don't know if the same modders, but there actually is a mod being developed that makes fallout 4 a multiplayer game now oh, that'd be cool. i don't know if like you're able to see each other's settlements because i i, I mean okay. maybe That's you could fine. right i don't i don't know if you could do that yet i don't know uh, a whole lot of information but there are there are modders making fallout 4 a multiplayer game so keep your eye out on make that. it make it the fallout 76 we wanted yeah right <laughs> I, I, I wanted that That's the one thing missing in fallout 4 is being able to run around to your friend's settlements okay, That's what we and see we what they were getting done. I know. Well, we all thought we'd. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Uh, so, Jazil, yeah. what can we find you at? Yeah. You. Well, I'm still just streaming on Saturdays and Sundays, 2 to 6-ish, <laughs> depending um, on Twitch. So, uh, you can follow me at Sir Jazil. But other than that, it's just pretty much Twitch and Twitter and Discord are where I pay attention. Uh, a few weeks ago, I said I was going to get back on Facebook, and that failed. Uh, not gonna do that. <laughs> don't <be> there. Um, <laughs> so don't go there. I have an account, but don't go there. So I'm not gonna pay attention to it anymore. It's just uh, one more thing I had to check every day, and there was very little response. So, um, yeah, and I'm just playing Elder Scrolls Online mainly. <clears throat> I have been uh. Messing around with City Skylines a little bit and Tropico 6 and like City Builder games a little bit um, on the side. And then uh, I might be uh, giving Killing Floor 2 another run here uh, shortly. As uh, during the, I saw on the summer sale that some of the expansions are DLC that I hadn't previously bought are on sale right now. So might play that some more if anybody uh, wants to play with me. I've never played that. Game. <laughs> it's great. Seen it, but I'm like, okay. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Uh, so you can find me at Canthan. I'm right here, but also Canthan Live, my Twitter account. I did. I did create a parlay account. It's not my game account. I got better one. But anyways, yeah. People start moving to parlay. We'll see how that works out. Anyway, so yeah. Thanks for being here. Um, thanks for hanging out. We extra long episode, but it was fine. Good talk about New World. Uh, tomorrow, bad guy from Aladdin, Jafar, is having another show about his new world. You know, he calls it a whole new world. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of funny. So, yeah, I think myself and Jazil will be on it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, and also, for those who don't know, I mean, uh, next Friday on Hear Me Out on Super Shadow's channel, we're having a guest host. It will be Solomon SK. It's our season finale. And so it will be interesting. It might be, there's only one week gap between season three and season four. <laughs> the, way, the way Shadow has done it, he, he's like, it's half a year type thing. But anyways, so it's fun of fun. So yeah, hang out there. Thank you for being there. I will be tapping the stream, and I will be uh, eating some dinner and chopping on, on about 8 o'clock, I think, to play some ESO and do some stuff. So we'll see how that plays out. So thanks for being here. Thanks for Luz, uh for hanging out and being with us. And so, yeah, we'll see you next time. And... Uh, don't forget to watch us on YouTube because it will be on YouTube soon.